Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Bruce Mahoney game, the oldest rivalry west of the Mississippi. St. Clark Cathedral versus St. Ignatius at Keysar Stadium. First quarter, SI on the move. QB Soren Hubble to number 19, Manaomiya Tito. First down, Wildcats. The Sacred Heart defense stepped it up. Zaire Young with a QB sack, along with two other fighting Irish. Wildcats ended up scoring on this. A 15-yard run by Jarius Hogan. SI took the lead, 7 to nothing. Fighting Irish answered right back. To Brian Flanagan with a nice run for a first down. Followed by Michael Sargent with a strike to Enzo Partaroli. First down, another first down. Same drive, Sacred Heart Cathedral scored. Sergeant to Jackson Irons. That's a 32 yard catch and run for the senior. The PAT was good, we're all tied up at seven. Ensuing kickoff, GSF Weekly Special Teams Player of the Week nominee, Monroe. Barnum with an 84-yard kick return for a touchdown. That electrified the crowd. Wildcats took the lead back just like that, and they got up 14-7 after one quarter. Second quarter, SI added another one. Hummel to Con McKeon. His tight end. Touchdown, Wildcats. 21-7 with about seven minutes left in the half. Two minutes left in the half. Sergeant rolled to his right, fired a shot to Irons. Their second touchdown connection. 21 to 14, Fighting Irish trailed by a touchdown. Just before the half, TFL for SI's Oliver Moore. And that ended the first half. <clears throat> Let's go to the third quarter. Ethan Castle predicted that this is going to be a big game for the Wildcats running back Jarius Hogan and Cameron Jones. And he was spot on. This run took a lot out of the defense. The offense definitely gelling at this point. Hummel to Pearson, Gene, about a yard short of the goal line. Hogan with a knockout punch. We'll call it a standing eight for now. And just like that, St. Ignatius Wildcats are up 28 to 14 with a little over nine minutes left in the third. What a great environment for high school football for the city. Look at that. It was like sold out. The keys are. Ensuing drive for the Fighting Irish Flanagan with a huge return all the way past midfield in Wildcats territory. Sergeant went to work. Freshman Chase Jenkins got the target and got a couple more yards after the catch. Next play, Sergeant took the ball himself. No one opened, but he fell three yards short of the first down. They went for it and got denied. Wildcats defense with a stop. Just before the break, SI turned the ball over. Deshaun Mabry deflected the pass and it got tipped right into the hands of Flanagan. But they gave it right back. Dash Crispin with a tip drill pick. There it is, and that will end the third quarter. Score remained at 28-14, St. Ignatius. Fourth quarter, Hummel and the offense started to move again. A 17-yard run by Hogan. We see 75, John Mills, big Falcon move. Next play, Hummel to Tito. Nice. 
And they went for it. And they went for the dagger right here. Hummel with a nicely placed ball. Tito couldn't haul it in. In comes the field goal unit. Audrin Kelly nails a 34 yarder. And that extended the lead 31 to 14 with 9.55 left in the game. Next drive for the Fighting Irish. Sargi with a nice pass to Mabry. And he got rocked by Jake Boyden. Held on though. Held on to the ball though. He got up. Great job all around, but I think Boyden got a penalty for the hit. Moving on, SH on the move. Pretty much the same play. Sergeant to Irons this time. Another first down, but the Wildcats defensive line did a great job pressuring Sergeant. Latham Davis forced a fumble. I got recovered back by the Fighting Irish. And then this, Patrick Brusso, number 40, almost got the sack to end the drive. Cameron Jones, the senior running back with one for the ages. This is the kind of stuff he'll be telling his grandkids. Back in my day when I was a senior, I took a toss play for a 70 yard touchdown to seal the game for my squad. Even did a spin move on my way to the end zone. 38 to 14, St. Ignatius over St. Clark Cathedral. It's awesome playing with my brothers. Uh, last year, we didn't get the job done, and the year before that, too. So I just came out with a lot of motion and anger to get this done. But I didn't let the motion get the better of me, and I feel like me and the team did a great job executing this on to the next week. You know, rivalry games, you throw records out the, out the window, because I've been on both sides of it where I was a very good team, and we battled and made it hard. And I've been on where we're a winning team and played a rivalry game, and we're in a dogfight. So our whole thing was just focus on what we can control, focus on execution, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a incident at the beginning of the game, and uh, I'm proud of my guys. They stand, they stood ten toes, didn't back down, but they weren't really throwing punches or anything. They just know, they just let them know that we ain't backing down, and we're here to play a game. Well, it's just awesome seeing what we work every single day to finally come true. And you know, the running backs, they're the best, best duo in the league, no doubt at all. It's just awesome seeing whatever, everything we've put together just work. And it's great. Just selling with my brothers after the a score and after a great big win is awesome. I just, I love it. Uh, execution, obviously there's things to work on, but for the most part, I thought we executed well on offense and uh, defense stepped up when they needed to. I mean, they we basically shut them out in the second half and that was huge. So I'm uh, very proud of this team, big victory. We're, we're gonna celebrate this one and uh, you know, keep the Bruce home where it belongs. We're definitely gonna come in next week against Mitty, hot, ready to go, get after him. It's just day by day, uh, down by down. It's offense, what our motto is. Picking up our defense, which is also always doing great. Um, and it's just play for your brother next to you. That's always Coach says.